Second, Martina, start it again. Martina, start it again, please. Sure. Okay, go. I sure will. Yeah. The name of this poem is Untitled, Unfinished. Okay. The darkness resonates with neon. You guys, it says, we could all escape this planet at the same time. Rise up as quietly as anemones open and stare up to where we are going, driven into the beautiful dark. Imagine it, a herd of the nicest people in the world, floating upward, whistling, humming, laughing, knowing it's all a magic trick, enjoying the drift. There will be questions. Am I still tripping on the mescaline I took at that gas station restroom in Pali? Did I go into a coma when I slipped and fell on my head at that ice skating rink in Merced? We'll hear a resounding no. Listen, it says, we will rise until we engage ourselves, until death all around us folds like a fan, only to open again when chaos rearranges us. Oh, wow. When chaos rearranges us. That's, that's a good one. <laughs> 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 Talk about feeling powerless. But <laughs> no, no. But you claim you wait. You know, chaos is going to do it. There's something of power. You know there. they are. <laughs> yeah, it's going to get you. <laughs> I was reading something that Iyama Vansant wrote about. She said uh -huh. one of our tasks in life is just to clean up the mess. Just clean up little messes when we can. I love that. And to accept just that. Just to clean up the mess. Just to clean up the mess. Oh, I love that. <laughs> oh, I love that. I'm so glad you told me that. I think that's really great. But you're saying the opposite. You said you said it'll be yeah. a, the mess will rearrange us. <laughs> well, and, and of it's course, true. she says the the thing the duty is to just go back and clean it up again. <laughs> yeah, it's a a pendulum. It is that. Um. I want to ask you about digital books. I saw a wonderful thing on uh, TED Talks this morning, a digital book where you could actually play with the flat screen and pick out pictures, fold them, move them. You tap on it and you get audio as well. You can move it down to the bottom menu and read while you're listening to... It was amazing. Someone made this... Uh, this oh my gosh. This new application is trying to sell it to book publishers. But so I wanted to know, would you consider putting your books Gee, digitally or it. getting into it? There, uh, I think three of the books are on digital now. They're available for Kindle. Yeah. And um, yeah, uh, I, I, I think I'm glad anyway that anyone will read, will read poetry. <laughs> I mean, if I, you know, if it, I mean, if it means that somebody's actually going to pick up a poem yes. and read it and think, hey, I. I don't have to be, you know, I don't have to be a rocket scientist to understand this. Yeah. And if, if Kindle means that more people will do that, yay, I'm, I'm happy for that. Um, I had the best experience at, at the reading the other night. A yeah. young man came up afterwards and said to me, I, I've never been into a poetry reading. I've never read poetry. And I'm going to buy my first book of poetry right now. Oh. And I thought... Somebody introduced him poetry, and I, I mean, I thought, I thought that's wonderful because because if he if he likes that, he'll go, you know, he'll explore other other poets. He'll think, gee, if I like that, yeah. So, yeah, digital is okay. It's all right. If, if it means that people are going to read, yeah. Personally, I like a book. I like the pages. I like the way it smells and feels. Yes. But you know, I'm if, the same if, way. I just want to read it that way, you know. I agree with you, though. There's something almost underground about wanting to maintain paper. <laughs> yes, there, it, that's a perfect way to put it. It <laughs> is. Can I just add in a poem underground? I like yeah, that. Take it, take um, it. <laughs> this, 